This new guy's gonna be another washed up pencil pusher. He's only concerned with following every rule in the patrol guide. Meet Morp Z. Robot captain engage. Is that what you think? Hey! <laughs> new captain alert. <laughs> You must be the new CEO. I'm Detective Jake Peralta. Great to meet you. No, don't let me interrupt. You were describing what kind of person I'm going to be. I'd like you to finish. <sighs> it's not necessary. Or I could recap very quickly. Sure. Um, let's see. I think I said some joke about being a washed up pencil pusher. Now do the robot voice. With... The robot voice you were doing when you implied I'm a rule following robot. I want to hear it again. Meet more sharp robot. That's a terrible robot voice. Yep. The next time I see you, I'd like you to be wearing a necktie. Oh, uh, actually, the last captain didn't care if we wore ties. Well, your new captain does. And more importantly, he cares that you follow his direct orders. Everyone, I'm your new commanding officer, Captain Ray Holt. Speech! That was my speech. Short and sweet. Captain Holt eating a marshmallow for the very first time. What is this glutinous monstrosity before me? The sugar in this is quite sweet. Ooh! <laughs> That's your Holt impression? I could hear him doing that. Looks like a sticky pillow. I don't care for it. Classical music. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on here? What are you doing? Captain, hey, nothing. Just eating some marshmallows. Care for one? Marshmallow. I knew it! Are you trying to Monty Hall me? It's unbelievable. I don't need Monty Hall ruining my place of work, but Monty Hall has already ruined my home life. Come on, sir. The math thing isn't the problem. Night shift's keeping you and Kevin apart. You two just need a bone. <laughs> what did you say? Don't say it again. I said you two need a bone. How dare you, Detective Diaz? I am your superior officer! Bone! What happens in my bedroom, Detective, is none of your business. Bone! Don't ever speak to me like that again. Why did you do that? Dude is pent up. Now he knows. Problem solved. <sighs> oh, Captain! I know you don't want to talk about Monty Hall, but I did contact a math professor. No need, Santiago. It's all good. So the fight with Kevin is over? Yep. Because you understand the math now? Nope. Because you guys... Yep. Knew it. See, what happened is your dad's had sex. Okay, Rosa. Attention, everyone. I can hear you speculating about the nature and origin of my injury from my office. I tripped over an uneven sidewalk. I did not think it was relevant to your jobs, the jobs which you should all be doing right now. Get to work. Do you want to know how I actually hurt my wrist? Yes. I was hula hooping. Kevin and I attend a class for fitness and for fun. Oh my God. I've mastered all the moves. The pizza toss, the tornado, the scorpion, the oopsie doodle. Why are you telling me this? Because no one will ever believe you. No, no. Son of a bitch. I'm happy. Our drug task force was a success, and today I get to watch my nemesis, Madeline Wunsch, drape a medal around my neck. Also, we clean up the streets. Yeah, sure, that's good too. So, I've been planning how to zing Madeline when she puts the medal on. I have the perfect line. Wunsch time is over. So, it's, it's a play on lunchtime. Yes, devastating burn, sir. But you know what would really show her is if you said nothing at all. Oh, interesting, interesting. Let, <laughs> let Madeline know she's not even worth my staying up all night crafting zingers. Lunchtime took you all night? Trust me, turn the other cheek. Which I recently learned is about faces and not butts. But works either way. Yes, I should be the bigger person. It shouldn't be hard given that Madeline's not technically a person. For meritorious service, the NYPD bestows this award on Detectives Rosa Diaz, Jake Peralta, and Captain Raymond Holt. Raymond. Madeline. You won. Go ahead and gloat, you toad. Thank you for this honor, Deputy Chief. Oh. OK. You're welcome. Lunch time is over.
Boom, did it! <laughs> Had it both ways. No regrets. Peralta, are you eating an Italian sub for breakfast? I am, but Amy said I should eat more veggies, so I got extra pepperoncini. Smart. Uh-oh. Excuse me. You need to watch yourself. I'm sorry. Cop. <laughs> All right, let's everybody just stay calm here. Oh, what? Are you gonna arrest me for dancing? You call that dancing? Oh. This is dancing. What is happening? I'm diffusing the situation. <laughs> dancing captain, must capture an image of a lifetime. Oh, why is my phone always dead? I paid $13 for it. Don't worry, Jake. I got it. Oh, no, my hands are covered in butter from making butter. I'm on it. Must record, must record. Camera on. All right, here we go. Dancing over. Situation diffused. No! It's a great picture, sir. I hate it. Me too. So, I have an eyewitness in the purse snatcher case. Only problem is the sketch artist is out sick. How do you want me to proceed? Figure it out, Santiago. It's your case. Yes, I will do that. Thank you. Are you bowing? No. This is how I walk. What do you need, Quasimodo? I gotta go meet Boyle and Peralta. Is there something wrong with the captain? It seems like he's in a bad mood. I don't know. Who could tell? You all right, Captain? Tough weekend? I went to Barbados with my husband. We wove hats out of palm fronds and swam with the stingrays. I've never been happier. Hey, Sergeant. You know how you're really good at, um, doodling? I know you think you're complimenting me, but calling them doodles is an insult. You a big fan of Picasso's doodles? Sorry. Can you please draw a perp for me? The sketch artist is out sick and the captain wants this done right away. He's in a bad mood. Is he? I can never read them. You look chipper, Captain. You have a fun weekend? There was a small fire in my home. I lost many photo albums of treasured memories. I'm devastated. Is there a problem? Uh, yeah. You know how I've been defying all expectations by going back to school? I always knew you had it in you. <sighs> Can't you just be blown away by me? I need someone to take this personality test for my psych class. I was hoping to wow my professor with a genuine psycho like Amy or Hitchcock or Charles would be great. I'm not a psycho, but I could take your test. That would be awesome. I do need to warn you that the results can be a little unflattering. It's okay, I'm no stranger to unflattering test results. Your blood pressure's normal. Normal? Take it again. I'm not afraid to have my flaws exposed. Just to be clear, though, it is possible to get a result that shows no flaws? I guess. Good, good. Can't wait to begin. Yeah? Um, I just wanted to thank you for all your help yesterday. I didn't do much. It was nothing. Good day. What's going on? Just very busy. Get back to work. Wait, what do you have in there? A balloon arch. Oh my god, Captain. She is magnificent. Vindication! 901. Amy Santiago is officially late for the first time ever. All right, let's do this. Who's got theories? Uh, alarm didn't go off. All three alarms, all with battery backup? Come on, who wants to take this seriously? Ooh, she was taken in her sleep. That's what I'm talking about. Super dark, Boyle, but way more plausible than the Sarge's idiotic alarm clock theory. I bet she tucked herself into bed too tight and got stuck. Maybe she fell into another dimension where she's interesting. It's 9 a.m. Why is no one working? Amy Santiago is a few minutes late, and we're all trying to guess why. I'd like to play. I'd say she's in line at the bank. This is fun. It is fun, but you're all wrong. She clearly slipped through a subway grate and is having terrible sex with a mole man. There she is, Amy. Where have you been? We've been worried sick. Do you care to explain yourself? I'm just 70 seconds late. It's not a big deal. Don't worry about it. Santiago, you will tell us, and you will tell us now. There was a problem at the bank. Hot damn! <laughs>